All right, we have a day in the life of two Belgian Malinois. That is Knox in the back, the darker one, and Zuri is the lighter one. Uh, this Morning. is our daily routine, right before we go out Ooh, for the day. Oh, you give me the big stretch, huh? Gotta make yeah, sure I give them their morning. love and attention and say good morning to them properly. Whoa. And once we're done saying good morning to each other and stretching out fully, uh, we get on the road. Today, Today's gonna be a training day, so we're gonna take the dogs to the park. We're going to work on some obedience and we're going to end up working on some odor, um, explosive detection. We haven't done, and by we, I mean Knox and I, we have not done a lot of uh, obedience training because we've been so focused on uh, explosives and I did not want him to get too caught up thinking that I'm going to correct him. So we've we kept the light today and we just did a little bit of just down in stays, a little bit of healing and recalls, some fronts. Kept the really light, short session, um, but I did want to touch up on some things really quick before we worked on some odor. Just another way to tire them out and work them mentally. But look at how cute he is. Look at that little man. That's what I always call him. I call him my little man. He's always so serious and he's three and a half years old now. But at the end of our obedience session, I like to end on an even more positive note. Nice little food reward and get to play. Oh crap, I dropped the dog poop bags. Oh, there we go. I think I noticed. Go back, grab it real quick. And now we're straight into Zuri. Now Zuri is a one and a half year old Belgian Malinois. Um, I haven't done a lot, a lot of obedience with her as I did with Knox because we've been doing so much um, explosive odor detection training and I did not want to put that type of stress on her. So with her we just worked the same thing, a little bit of downs and stays, but as she got older I was starting to do more obedience whereas with Knox I began doing obedience heavily from the start because he was my first Belgian Malinois but as you can see we do a few sits downs heel I will say she has a very nice focused heel for the two seconds of attention span that I have her for but she is usually very very focused and very food and ball driven. We're doing some position changes here, but of course I had to get a good close up of my little girl, a little crazy girl. Look how happy she is. She's just a happy go lucky girl. She's just happy to be working, doing her thing as usual. Here. So like I said, we kept the light just because after this, we're gonna go straight into detection. Um, training on some explosives right now when we're away from the training field we're using precision explosives odor prints um, has a magnet to it so that's what I end up putting on various things for them to sniff out and it's been working very well uh, right here you see me working with Knox on a 30 foot uh, leather lead I'm trying to get him to sit and stay as long as possible um, he's so used to working close to me so the long lead helps him as you can see he he sat on the odor and indicated but it's so hard for me to get him to stay and stare at the odor instead I'm paying him for sitting at the odor which is okay totally fine I switch it up and I throw one on the floor um, on one of the sewer tops so that way look at that beautiful and I try to vary up the timing of the reward so that way he doesn't get used to me rewarding him right away and we jump over to Zuri because I was using the InstaFlow um, 360 
gimbal for the iPhone and uh, it kept going to shit so it wasn't working very well um, but Zuri does really well off leash it's a lot harder to record using the phone and working on the lead so I just went off leash and she did really well um, I had to take her right where it says no pets allowed on the campus but look at her hit right away and that is a day in the life of two Belgian Malinois Knox and Zuri